I'm going to show you how to do this trend where you're lip syncing to yourself while your other self is getting ready in the mirror. And this is how I have my setup. I have a tripod on a chair facing the mirror so that it captures a shot that's going to be two of me in the mirror. Now the thing is you have to make sure that there's enough room so you can move without crossing over the middle line. You want to kind of keep a, a dividing line between your two selves. So when you shoot the first self, keep yourself contained on one side. The key thing is that the camera doesn't move for both parts. I'm going to shoot the first character getting ready. So I have all my wigs lined up and ready to go here. And then I'll shoot the second one of, mis of myself lip syncing to the music. And I'm going to play the music on a separate device when I do that. Now I'm just going to shoot a bunch of shots of me getting ready and then I'll edit it together later. Once you shoot a bunch of Get Ready With Me content, then you can play the music on another device and shoot the lip sync part. You can shoot the lip sync in TikTok, but I don't really recommend it because once you have that camera steady and locked, it's better to just play the music on another device and sing along. So I can't record myself doing that because I need this device. So I'm gonna keep recording. I'm just gonna change my clothes quick, move to this part of the side of the frame, and I'm gonna sing to myself in the mirror. I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. So first go to the TikTok where you saw the music and tap that music button and save it to your favorites. Then you want to save that video to your phone. Okay, once it's saved, you're going to go into CapCut, start a new project, add the video where you did the Get Ready With Me stuff. Add. Then you're going to add audio. Tap on Extracted and grab that TikTok that you just downloaded so that it takes the audio and it gives you the opportunity to edit all of your Get Ready With Me content to the music. So you can listen to the music and find the little clips. So you'll scroll along, you'll pick a piece. So I'm gonna tap, split, get rid of the beginning. Let's take this little clip, tap, split. I'm gonna scroll to another piece where I'm combing. Tap, split, get rid of what's in the middle. tap split and you can edit it to the music or you can just randomly put a little video together that's one minute long of all of your get ready with me content on this side of the frame once you've got all of your clips laid out and make sure that you use parts that your elbow and your body doesn't cross over into the side of the frame try and be mindful that you're picking pieces where you stayed to the side of the imaginary line all right so you've got all of those clips put together so what I did was then I exported this video so that it was a minute long clip that I could work with as one piece. That put it into my camera roll. And then I can start a new project. I'm gonna grab that same sequence because after I did all the Get Ready With Me content, I kept the camera rolling and I did my lip sync. So I'm gonna scroll all the way to where I changed and did the lip sync. Let me get that. I pressed record, my hand is out. Tap the timeline, click split, get rid of the whole beginning. And now I'm gonna get that whole performance. I did it a few times, but I kept crying, so I just went with the first one. All right, so now I'm gonna get to the end of that first minute where I did the whole lip syncing. All right, done right around here, good. A minute long, tap on the timeline, click split, and get rid of the ending. So now I have my one minute lip syncing. And now what I'm gonna do is tap overlay, click add overlay i'm going to select the piece that i just edited that one minute get ready with me sequence i'm going to tap on that and click add that puts it right on top you can see underneath i'm on the right hand side and on top i'm on the left what you'll need to do is take two fingers pinch it so it's exactly the same size and this, that other one is still underneath okay it's exactly the same size stay tapped on the bottom layer and scroll over and look for mask which is right here, click split, click the check mark, tap on mask again, because you want to bring up this yellow line because you want to take two fingers and literally rotate it. I want to be able to move this so that it clears my elbow. If you just tap on these arrows, it, it, it does a little soft thing here. So it like makes the line a little bit less harsh down the middle. So there's not a harsh dividing line. So you can play with that little feather there to kind of soften it up. Click the check mark. But remember, when you put this in TikTok, you wanna add the music back in TikTok. So once this is finished and you're happy with it, you can watch it on the big screen like that. Okay. Once you're happy with it, if you watch the whole thing and you're done and you're good, you're gonna export it 
done. But when you put it into TikTok or Instagram, you have to make sure to add the music back. So I'm going to grab this music and I'm going to use it now. Upload the video that I just created. It looks like it's a little out of sync. So I'm going to tap on the edit button here. And I'm going to just take off a little bit at the beginning of the video because I think that I'm starting to sing a little bit too late. Let's see if this is better. Yes, that looks better to me. Click save and your video is ready to go. So you see the dividing line? Softening that really does help, but you can see that there's a line here and it's really helpful to make sure when you record that you are staying and not crossing over the middle line. All right, that's it.